I'm going to show you today how to uh, season a sheepskin bag. There's been a big resurgence in leather bags um, and so it's, it's a very important thing to make sure you keep your bag airtight. So what I've got in front of me here is uh, my sheepskin bag which has been taken away from the pipes, so it's just the stocks uh, and the blow pipe left in so I can blow up the bag. Uh, I've got some brushes for cleaning, I've got corks here that I'll put into the stocks to check initially if the bag does need season and it is airtight. I've also got a cleaning cloth here and of course I've got airtight seasoning. So the first thing we need to do is actually check if the bag does need season. Uh, when you first get a sheepskin bag you'll need to probably season it a couple of times in the first two weeks. This is because the bag is quite dry and it hasn't been seasoned. And so because the skin is porous it's going to leak air. And so you need to add the seasoning to fill up those pores. Uh, the good thing about airtight seasoning is it allows moisture to be absorbed into the skin and will actually you know, transpire through the skin. Um, so that means that the drone leads and, and so forth are not getting wet. So I'm just going to check now if the bag is airtight by just putting some corks into the stocks. So this bag is about almost a year old. So I'm not going to need to use a, a massive amount of, of seasoning. I'll just need to put in a drop just to make sure it's, it's fully airtight. So by putting all these corks in the stocks, I'll then inflate the bag. So just by applying a small amount of pressure to the bag using my arm here, I'm going to see if the bag is, is deflating easily. So just by putting a fair amount of, a pr of pressure on the bag, uh, it should be with that, with that amount of pressure, the bag shouldn't actually deflate. So because I'm having to apply more in air into the bag, that means that this bag does need seasoning. So I'm going to be using airtight seasoning to uh, season the bag. This was bought by R.G. Hardy in uh, 1966 from Robertson's. Uh, and it's been used by pipers the world over. Um, we actually haven't changed the recipe since 1966, so uh, it's served pipers for many decades. Uh, so what you need to do is really just follow the instructions on the back of the bottle. Again, it's, it's for microwave only. If you don't have access to the microwave, you could heat it in the traditional way by boiling water and putting it in a saucepan. Uh, but with obviously a microwave, it makes life a lot easier. So following the instructions, you need to remove the cap Heat on high power for one minute, stirring halfway through, leaving to stand for one minute. If the seasoning is not fully liquefied, then you need to heat it again uh, and you'll just be shaking the bottle. So I've just heated the airtight seasoning and it's now in a liquid form. Um, so I'm happy to pour it into the bag. So first of all, I'm just going to put the corks into the stocks just so when I pour it in, nothing comes out of the bag anywhere else. So I'm going to leave the chanter stock uh, free, so this is where I'm going to pour the seasoning. Some people prefer to pour it into the, the middle tenor drum stock, but I prefer to put it in to the chanter stock just so I can make sure I get seasoning rubbed into the neck of the bag. Uh, so just by keeping all the stocks pointing upwards so that no seasoning comes out of those stocks, I then just pour a small amount into the bag. Just tidy that up so that I can put the cork in. So there'll be some seasoning just sitting in the neck of the bag here, so I'm just going to immediately rub that in. So again, just rubbing the two sides of the bag together to ensure it uh, gets absorbed into the skin. And then just work my way down through the bag. So it might be worth just now inflating the bag and I'll just keep the bag in this position to make sure the seasoning flows to the bottom of the bag. And I can feel already even with that small amount of the bag has become a lot more airtight. So, but I still need to make sure it's rubbed properly into the skin. So some seasoning should be, have made its way to the bottom of the bag. So again just rubbing the skins together. I'll just put the cork in here to make sure the seasoning doesn't come out. 
if you find after doing this rubbing process that you haven't got it into all areas of the bag, then just pour more seasoning into the bag. So I can feel that it's making its way down. Okay, this is quite a, a thick skin, so it's not the easiest thing to do here. But what I'm going to try and do is just turn the bag inside out and push this, grabbing the skins here. I'll need to take this out because I'm going to push the air out. I'm just going to use this to rub into the seams of the bag down along the bottom here. Okay, so just making sure we're covering all areas of the bag. And rubbing right down the seams. I'm quite happy that the skins now feel moist when I rub them together, so that tells me that I should have covered the whole bag with airtight seasoning. Not too much because you don't want it flowing out onto reach or anything like that. So. And again, this part of the bag is a lot of moisture getting to the chanter reach, so it's likely that the neck can become quite dry. So what I'll do is just put the cork in and check that the bag is actually airtight. So again, just applying a bit of pressure. I'm not able to get any air in at the moment, so that tells me that the bag is now actually airtight. Over time, the bag, because it is a porous natural material, it is going to naturally deflate. Um, so it's not going to be, you know, like a tight as a drum all the time. But I can feel that this bag is quite solid at the moment and free. Um, so that's basically, you know, I'm now happy that I've covered that and the bag is now airtight. So all it remains to do is to deflate the bag. And I'm going to leave this one in just initially. So now what I'm going to do is just tip the bag up and empty any excess seasoning that might be still within the bag. So I've just emptied any excess seasoning into a bin uh, and I've also left the bag to hang uh, for about an hour. So there's a little loop at the back of your bag, just put that on a nail on a wall, let it hang for an hour and you'll see any excess seasoning come out of the bag. The way I've seasoned the bag, I've only put a small drop in, so I wouldn't expect there'll be much, but maybe when you first got your bag and had, a, had to season it with a large amount, you might find that this is particularly important. You don't want to show up and have seasoning all over your reeds. So now I'm just going to continue with cleaning the stocks. And I've just got a, a cloth here, so it might be better to have a light coloured cloth so you can actually see the seasoning. And you have actually removed it, so just bundle it up the corner of it. Just push this through so you can feel it coming through the stock into the bag. So where my hand is here I can feel that this is actually coming through so I'm happy that you can see there's some seasoning residue there so I'm happy that I've cleaned that out just doing a visual inspection. Okay, and I can feel that coming through. Okay, visual inspection. So now I'm just going to use these brushes just uh, to check that we've removed all the seasoning. So I'm checking with my thumb here to make sure we go the whole way through, but I don't want to remove anything out of the bag. I'm just doing a check to make sure there's no seasoning there. I'll just repeat this for all the stocks. Okay, there's no season, so I'm quite happy there that I've removed all the seasoning. You can also align the stocks and have a look down to see if there's any residue, but these, these stocks look, look clean, so I'm quite happy that I've, that I've removed the seasoning. I play a, a split stock on, on this set of pipes, so this means that I can actually put a tube to the back of the bag. So this is the connection for the tube itself. 
So before we put the chain back in, we'll just make sure that this gets tidied up and there's no seasoning down here. Again, there's no reed at this part of the, the pipe, so it's not absolutely important that it's, it's clean. So I would just fit the tube and reinsert this to the back of the, the tube will go to the back of the bag. So now I'm happy that I can put the drums into the bag and start playing again with a nice airtight bag.